and welcome to London. It's a long time since you've seen us all wrapped up. It is a bit of a chilly morning, well, very compared to what we've been used to. We're so happy though to be back in England, aren't we? Yeah. Very happy. I never thought I would say that, but I am. We have been very productive, or I have been very productive this morning, editing and stuff, and it's about half past 12 now. We are on our way out, not really sure where, into central London to find some Christmassy things, I think. So if you didn't watch yesterday, you won't know what on earth we're doing in London. But the plan originally was, I mentioned briefly yesterday, we were going to go to the Philippines for Christmas, but we changed our mind kind of about three weeks ago. And we have come home for Christmas, but we have come to London first. My sister lives in London. We're spending a couple of days in London, doing a few Christmassy things, and then going back up to north to where I live. And we're so excited. We're so excited, aren't we? Yes. Yes, so excited to be home. The plans kind of changed because, I'll tell you actually why. There was this video, I will link it down below. You might have seen it, it's really popular. It's got like 53 million views or something, I think. Um, I don't know if it's German or... Anyway, some advert about, um, a Christmas advert about an old man uh, faking his death. And I watched that and it's all about like being with your family at Christmas. I saw it on Facebook or something. And I watched that a couple of weeks ago and I was like, it's so true, as much as I am, I was having an amazing time traveling around. Christmas is about being at home, for me anyway, about being at home with friends, family, people that you love. And so that's why I've come home for Christmas. Oxford, well, we've just come off Oxford Street. We're just gonna have a little wander down the shop. Stephen wants to play Pokemon as well, so we're kind of just gonna wander around a lot today, I think. And maybe check out like some of the Christmas window displays. I think we'll go to like to Liberties and Selfridges and maybe Harrods. See their Christmas window displays. Corner. 
Here we go. Jamie's Italian. This is where we're going. Oh, food's arrived. How nice does this look? Stephen's gone for... What have you gone for? Something spaghetti. Um, uh, Tagliatelle um, bolognese. I've got penne arrabbiata, which is supposedly boiling hot. It's got scotch bonnets in. Yikes. And some garlic bread. You're going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. Okay, let's see. Yeah. It's quite spicy. Delicious, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, <my goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, continue what you were doing. <laughs> That's not what you were doing. Stephen's full, there's no way he can leave all that. Look, I've eaten all of mine. I'm a good girl. Finish it. Oh, this is it. I can't, it's meat. We have finished our lunch, I suppose. I don't really know what it was. It's like four o'clock, so late lunch. I was going to say brunch, but no, it's still not brunch. Brunch is breakfast and lunch. We are going to head to, I've just spoken to my sister, and we're going to head to her work, meeting her after work at like five o'clock, so we've got like an hour. I think we're just going to head like maybe down, down to Target Square. Play some Pokemon, see some Christmassy stuff, and then meet her. It's got a little bit dark whilst we've been eating, so you can see the lights a bit more, what we're looking at. Pizza Hut, Stephen said before he wanted to go to Pizza Hut. I was like, no, we've been to a million Pizza Huts whilst we've been out in ages. But he just wanted salad because they didn't do salad, you know, like in Pizza Hut. Well, in England, anyway, they do Pizza Hut. But in Pizza Hut, they, um, you can do Stephen's food. And I told him to bring a big coat. But he wouldn't. Oh, I know. Um, anyway, people thought you can get a salad, like an all you can eat salad. He wanted to go for that. I'm happy to go for a This makes me walking around London and seeing all the Christmas lights and all the Christmas trees and just all the Christmas things. It's amazing. After being in Asia and although they do have some Christmas trees and they have like some little bits of Christmas, it's just not the same. Like as far as I'm concerned, London is it's like the second best place to be at Christmas time. New York is the first, although I've never been, oh, but it's definitely on the list. New York is the best place to be at Christmas, I think. And Ooh. London is the second best place in the whole world to be at Christmas. I've had such a good day. He's talking rubbish. Here we are at Trafalgar Square. That's the National Gallery. Oh, yeah. Stephen's being a fool. And there's Nelson. And he's just barged into me and you dropped, dropped my phone. I can't you oh my God. Look what he's done. I can't believe you dropped your phone. Right, there's the damage. Pretty bad. Shattered. He's been well and truly told off. He's been stupid. And I'm annoyed now. My Christmas spirit happiness has been ruined. Oh, it's only a phone, I suppose. Oh, I get it for, at least it happened here as opposed to out in Asia. Let's look on the bright side, yeah? He's gonna pay for it, I've said. You pay for it with your pocket money. I think I don't think he's got any pocket money left, for God's sake, you <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Everyone comes out of work, goes for a drink. Oh, look, and there's their Christmas tree. That's nice. And this is Lloyd. It's a pretty um, odd looking building. If you've watched my vlogs for a while, you will have seen it because we've been here quite regularly. But it's weird. Look at it. 
Oh, it's windy around this corner, so you might not be able to hear me very well. But this is some more of Lloyd's, this building here. And then you can just see there, through uh, through the gaps in the two buildings, that's the gherk in there. I've met my sister and we've finally made our way over to Hyde Park to Winter Wonderland. It's taken us a long time, it was pretty murder on the tube, but we are finally here. Well, no, there wasn't an actual murder, yes, but there was, there was, there was a nice investigation. Yeah, there could have been a murder, I shouldn't say that. Um, yeah, but we're going to go to Wonder Winter Wonderland for a little bit. To Wonderland, we're just heading over to Harrods. It's so flipping cold, my hands are gonna it's drop. No, it's not as no, it is quite cold. No, my hands are cold. Only, we should have a coat on, but only my hands are cold to be honest. The rest of me is fine. We are going over to Harrods. Have I just said that? Yes, um, to see the window displays. I can't speak, and um, and also to maybe buy something. We've just got home, back to my sister's house. It is nine o'clock. We are shattered. Stephen is especially shattered, like for us, really. It's what, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, like five o'clock in the morning. So, how are you still awake? I don't actually feel that bad to be honest. I said I'm shattered. I'm not actually I'm not that, bad that shattered. Oh, Stephen's like, I knew that he was been complaining. He's been tired for the past two hours. It's like, as soon as you get home, you'll be wide awake. But anyway. 
we are going to go to sleep, I think. So thanks for watching today. Hope you've had a wonderful day. I've had a wonderful, wonderful day in London. I love being in London so much. I hope we see you tomorrow for some more fun. Good night.